Hey guys, my name's Tom. I'm a product marketing specialist here at GetResponse. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can hyper-personalize your email so that you can ensure more opens and more clicks during your email marketing campaigns. It's super simple. What we're going to do though, is we're going to start by having a look at the contact data that you can pull through, where you can check in on that, where you can add it. So what we do is we start by going to lists up here so we can find our contacts. And I'm going to start by adding a custom field straight away. What I mean by custom field is it's an element that we can add in our emails. It's just a small tech thing that will pre-populate dynamic content based on whatever it is. I'll give you some more context. So what we'll do is we'll jump into create a custom field here. We'll add the custom field. For me today, what I want to do is I want to discover what they wanted. So what I mean by this is I want to know what my subscribers signed up to my list for. And then I want to use this as part of my email marketing campaign to let them know that, you know, I'm totally aware of this and this is what we're going to be doing moving forward. So right here, what we can do is we can click this. And for me, it's going to be tech because, you know, my subscribers are going to be inputting exactly what they want. For you, you can choose anything. But I'm going to choose tech today. And you can click this if you want, if you don't want to show it to contacts. I'm going to keep it unticked for now. That's not a problem for me. And the one thing to know here is that when we add a custom field here, we can add it to our sign up form. So if when our users are signing up you know, on your landing page or your form, wherever it is, you can add this as an element to your form. So it could be like first name, email address, and then what would you like? And then when they answer this field, it's mapped to this custom field. So if someone said I wanted to increase my sales, this would pre-populate here. And then you can use that later on as an element of personalization. So the next thing I'm going to show you is how to individually add custom fields to a user. It's worth knowing that if you are importing a list of users, what you can do is you can add one column with all your custom fields. And you can say at the top of that column with your header would be what they wanted. And then you can import all the reasons of what they wanted. So if you're migrating from somewhere else, or you already know this answer, or you just want to pre-populate it, you can do that during the import process. But I'll allow you to kind of have a little bit of discovery on that by yourself. So the thing we'll do is we'll jump straight into our list. I'll go straight to one of my own contacts, which is myself. And when I click on here, we'll have our contact profile card. And on this contact profile card is where you can view your users or your subscribers contact information. So during the sign up, I had to give my email address, of course, and my name. But you can also see that I've applied some custom fields. So I also wanted to grab the age of the person that was subscribing and also the gender. And today what I can do is I can also add the custom field that we just created. So if I just type in this right here, you can see it's here. And the value is what I would have inputted. So if you're doing this kind of post factum, you can add in what you want. So for me today, let's just go for argument's sake with increased sales. I'm pretty sure that's what most of you want to do with us. So we'll click save and that's now attached to me. So if you send an email to me and you use this custom field in your email communication, which I'll show you how to do later, it would pre-populate with the term increased sales. So the next thing we'll do is we'll just jump into creating an email. So if I go to email marketing, you guys are all familiar with this, create a new newsletter. So when we're in here, we can give this a title of custom field, whatever, this is for you. And then in the subject line, I want to show you how you can use in custom build. And then I'll show you how you can use them in your actual email. So let's just say for argument's sake, we just want to say hello to me. So let's be like, hello. And then you saw that I have my name saved in there. So I can use first name here to make sure we've got the face in there for the formatting. Like, hey, check out this offer. And now I'm way more likely to open this email and to click and engage with it because I know that the person that sent it to me is aware of who I am. And I just think it gets that extra layer of personalization that your subscribers will definitely be looking for. And the one thing to know here is that if you don't have the first name attached to one of your users or subscribers in your list, then this will just pre-populate with nothing. It will be blank and it will format correctly. So it will just say, hello, check out this offer. You don't have to worry too much about that. But if it is available, it will pre-populate dynamically with the name of the person you're reaching out to. So for me, it would be Tom. That's pretty obvious. Cool, brilliant. So moving on into design, pretty similar setup, almost identical setup, but obviously you can get a little bit more creative inside of your email. So let's go over here. And you can use any of the pre-populated templates. I highly recommend it. They're just ready and waiting for you. So to start here, we'll go, hey, again, it's always great to just reiterate the fact that you know who they are. So you can be like, hey, Tom. And then you can be like, I can't wait to help you. And then you've got what they wanted. And you put that in there and then this will now read when it's sent out to me, it will say, I can't wait to help you increase sales. So that way you can get creative and you can include as many of these as you want to hyper-personalize and it just lets 
your subscriber know that you're aware of why they signed up. You're going to help them with that. But you can include anything in here from, you know, their favorite food to the name of their dog. You can include this in as many different places as you want. And I would highly recommend it. But obviously, it needs to be super appropriate and it needs to have a fallback. So this sentence works. Says, I can't wait to help you. That would work. But the added level of personalization with increased sales will just help get that click rate a little bit higher. Cool. So I hope this has helped you today. I hope you can implement this into your marketing campaigns. It's super simple. But if you do have any more questions, feel free to reach out to our customer success team. They'll be more than happy to help you with your campaigns. Great, guys, and good luck.